हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक ऑन नेक्स्ट मोर चैनल गाइस आई एम रामकेश सिंह यूनिटी गेम डेवलपर यूट्यूबर एंड ब्लॉगर सो वी हैव डन सो मेनी ट्यूटोरियल्स ऑन यूनिटी वी आर मिक्स रियलिटी एंड मल्टीप्लेयर सो नाउ इट्स टाइम टू मूव ऑन फ्रॉम फोटोन टू टू फ्यूजन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फ्यूजन सो दिस विल बी अ बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन आई एम गोइंग टू लॉन्च टू प्ले लिस्ट फर्स्ट प्ले लिस्ट विल बी फ्रॉम वेरी बेसिक दैट आई आई विल नॉट स्टार्ट डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द कोडिंग आई विल एक्सप्लेन बेसिक दैट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द फोटोन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस इन एस एफ एस वॉट इज द डिफरेंस इन मीर नेट इफ यू हैव वर्क ऑन मल्टीपल नेटवर्किंग मल्टीपल मल्टीप्लेयर एस डी के सो यू must have idea if you don't have so i will explain everything so you have to not worry about it so basically is i is in last video i really share with you that uh, pun2 is uh, not deprecated but it is in maintenance that uh, there will be no any update in pun2 so if you are starting any project so you have to start your project in fusion 2 so basically we will talk about with the introduction what is the fusion 2 why we are going to use it and uh, most of uh, tutorials will get that people are starting with the uh, code i will not start with the code because it is a very important thing that you understand the concept and then you start the code and you have to also understand that what is the difference in fusion 2 as well as photon pun and 2 so let's start the today video if you are new on the channel make sure subscribe the channel uh, this will be a very basic series after that we will uh, move on advanced series like in the photon first we complete the very basic and then we come to the advanced series so this was the pun 1 and then i started pun 2 similarly i did not done fusion 1 so basically fusion 1 was uh, in development mode that was just test testing purpose so that they can get the bugs so that was in development and uh, currently they have released fusion 2 on asset store you know, we are starting from the fusion 2 because this is the future we have to learn uh, this fusion 2 so let's talk about fusion 2 introduction so basically fusion 2 is a uh, not only fusion 2 just fusion so fusion is a new high performance state synchronization so if you are using the multiplayer so state synchronization uh, a word we use to just uh, synchronize state on the network so it is high performance uh, a very popular terms we use client side prediction so fusion support client side prediction means it increase the uh, means uh, flexibility of player like uh, let's suppose our player is moving so basically when user is playing your game so what was happening earlier in the multiplayer that it was just getting uh, transport to client player means when user was giving any input so it was just going from server to client but currently what happening is just in the fusion it is client side prediction client side prediction means when a player is moving in the client so basically it is getting uh, input from the player means uh, your uh, client player means your client player and after that it is getting synchronized on the server so that's called the client side prediction i will drop one link that you can go and explore you will learn much more thing because there is so many stuff like tick basically they use ticks basically why we use the ticks like uh, due to the time zone like uh, you cannot predict on the basis of the time zone you have to use the ticks so what is the ticks i will drop the link you can go and check out basically ticks uh, we use because uh, in the world there are so many time zone so you cannot re rely on that if currently it is uh, 8:56 so in your place it is the same time it is not means on a uh, uh, different location the time vary so we cannot rely so at that time we use the tick so client side prediction is a very important thing in the fusion and as well as they provide the data compression due to this uh, our data transfer between the network is very fast and uh, here you can see that is the fusion relies on the state 
of the art compression so it is a multiplayer algorithm it is a very popular algorithm and due to this it is reduce the bandwidth requirement with the minimal cpu overlaid so if you are using the pun 2 uh, if you are using any multiplayer so their their cpu load is a uh, very high but in the fusion you are getting a minimal cpu overhead so that's the beauty of uh, fusion and uh, fusion is uh, more like the unity structure means it is follow the mono behavior thing so you have to not worry about it it is not that much complicated it is a uh, very simple and uh, it is also consist of rpcs so you have to not worry about because we have used the rpc so we were using the pun rpc in the photon here we are going to use rpc uh, same remote procedural call but the declaration will be a little different so that thing i am going to explain to you and here you can see network public int lips so basically if you have work on the mirror so in the fusion what i have noticed is that it is not a combination of only one multiplayer sdk when i std is fusion so i got that it is combination of mirror it is combination of photon so basically there are so many topology so i am going to explain with you because whenever you are starting your development it is a very important thing that you understand that uh, which topology you are going to implement in your game topology means you want to integrate server you want to integrate host if you want to implement the shared so this thing i am going to explain with you so here you can see this is the looking like the mirror so this is the network means it will be uh, just sync on the network and here is the code so just don't worry about the code we will talk about it just i'm going to uh, i'm just giving you a brief so that you can know that similarities with the pun so here you can see this is the way to uh, so the rpc and in the pun we just use the pun rpc but here is the declaration of the rpc and here is a very important thing that is the choosing the right mode so that thing i was talking about that they provide offer the mode here you can see share mode basic host server mode basic so here is the topology differences we are going to talk about but whenever you are whenever you are starting your development mode so it is important to choose share mode or host server mode so basically there is three mode one is server one is host one is share mode so basically host and server perform in single unit and uh, share mode perform in pret unit so basically they have given two unit but basically these are three different thing okay so here we uh, observe about the you can see that is the server that is the host that is the shared uh, basically there is three things so in the server you can here you can see that is the dedicated server with public ip headless unity instance here you can see there will be one single server and from there room will be create match making will be create and your player will be joined through the server and it is similar concept to mirror if you have work on the mirror so basically there is a also a multiple architecture but the main thing is that if you create a build of the server so basically that uh, build will run on the a particular machine or server device and from there room create and player just join so this is the simple model of mirror and they have applied in the server mode so here you can see this is the server here you can see that room creation p1 p2 these are the player and they are joined so this is the authority and this is the full authority on the server uh, that is not that much control on the player it is full rely on the server and here is the another thing that is the host little similar to pun 2 not exactly but little similar to pun 2 because in this what happens that if there is five players so one player will be host and if that player leave so at that time uh, host uh, will be transferred to another player so that thing we call server migration or host migration okay in the host mode it is not work automatically basically you have to write some code because in the pun 2 it was happening uh, automatically but in the host it will be not so you have to write some code and here you can see host has full authority hacking cheating possible so host uh, have much more authority rather than the player after that we come to the share mode so room has state authority optional plugin so basically uh, here you can see this is the shared room so in shared room p1 p2 p3 p4 just connected with it and it is much more similar means host is similar 
little but shared mode is much more similar to Puntu so basically there will be created share room and player will be joined so here you can see room state authority authority means every player have the authority but clients control state on objects assigned to them so these are the thing you have to keep in mind that state latency qs cost so if you are going to choose like whenever you are going to create your uh, create your game so at that time you have to choose and when you are going to choose that uh, which mode you are going to perform like server host share so this point you have to keep in mind authority state latency cos which thing you want better in your application so that thing you have to choose in and in my case my favorite is host and shared so personally because i have worked on the pun2 so i really love photon uh, pun2 so i love host and it is similar to shared so both are the same for me and this is a server so i have also worked on the mirror so i have not created tutorial but it is a uh, similar so there is not that much difference so it's depend on you that how you want to create so there are the thing and there are the topology so you have to choose on which topology you want to work so i will provide this link and you can go and you have to just read once so that you can get much more clarity i have explained to you but whenever you will read so at that time you will get much more clarity that what i am trying to say and this thing like client side prediction i have already explained to you that what is the client side and that is the beauty of the fusion that it's contain the client side prediction because it uh, just increase the power of fusion so you have to learn so after that we will start the creating the project and i will try to create the project in latest version of unity so that we don't worry about few years like uh, in upcoming uh, years so that uh, we will, will helpful for other people who, who are going to create on the uh, on the latest version of the unity so that's it and in next tutorial we are going to just create the project we are going to just set up the project so see you in next part and if you want to ask me anything if you want to suggest me anything so just let me know in the comment box i will try to improve because i want to make this tutorial um, very simpler so that anyone can understand because in the first time when i come to the fusion i was really confused because there was so many topology so i really got confused that uh, which topology i have to learn and what is the difference in pun2 so i think i am able to convince you that this is the difference in photon and this not exactly but yeah basic difference that what is the similar what is not similar so that's it for today tutorial see you in next part bye bye take care and if you want to support me so you can just join my channel or give me thanks so that i can create much more tutorial for you thanks for watching have a good day see you in next video bye bye take care